Today I want to show how to use G object to create an object. So this is my Ubuntu 2004. I just installed it on VirtualBox. If you want to follow along, you can use the same version or you can use any Ubuntu but just need to install some application. So here I already install it already but if you want to follow along, you can install it. So first of all, we need to install Visual Code because I'm going to use Visual Code for this project. First, you can use sudo snap install code dash classic. So gonna enter my password. So I already installed it. If you haven't installed it, yeah, you can do it. And next, we need to install some of the glibs 2.0 and then the compiler GCC. It doesn't come with the Ubuntu. So I'm going to do sudo app install lib glibs 2.0 dev and GCC python 3 i don't know if you need python 3 but we need pip 3 so python 3 dash pip and we also need mission mission but it's okay we're gonna install it after we install pip 3 okay and then enter so here you can see that i already install this but if you haven't you can install it too and then i'm going to do sudo pip3 install mission okay i already have that too and sudo install pip3 install ninja so we're going to use ninja and mission for build I just find it's easy so we don't have to tap in the command okay okay so we are done now so I'm going to open VS code we can close this now okay so we go here and then go to visual code I'm going to maximize it and I'm going to open a new terminal but I think I'm going to change the font first let me go to setting I'm not sure if I can find the font font so font size here I'm going to change to 18 probably easy for you to see and the terminal let's see terminal font i'm going to use 18 too let's go into desktop and create a folder called development and go into development so I'm going to open this folder I'm going to use code that's a dot so we open development folder I want to create another folder called student I'm going to create a file called example student.h and another one example student.c so we'll need to install c c++ extension so let's see what do we have here we're gonna install the first one here okay so it install this will help us for writing code 
so I'm going back to the folder and then I'm going to write if not define example dash student dash age and we want to define it example dash student dash age and I want to end F so in here we are going to include glibs dash object dash age and save it okay so we get that the compiler or the IDE cannot com cannot find this header file so what we need to do is I'm going to add C++ I'm going to add configuration okay it did configuration so so here we have this configuration and but what we need to do we need to tell the in the configuration where to find the glibs so I think let me see where can we find that one I'm going to open a new terminal using going to uh, cd in student and then package config c flag g object dash 2 so we need this to path copy I'm gonna paste it here Okay, let's put it here. Put it here, we add comma here. So save, let's see, let's go back. Okay, it seems like it, it's gone. Be good now. So next I'm going to use G begin declare and G and declare so and then I'm going to define the example student tab so define example tab student go example student get tab and then we go in to declare that object g declare g find g declare final tab final tab so example student let's tab student and call it name student and example student and we derive it from object class let me split it so we can see going to close this one okay so we're going to include example student 
So before we continue, I want to set up the build first so we can compile along while we're writing the code. Clear the screen and using this command mission init. So it will create mission.build. Here I want to create a variable called source equal. Let's put example dash student dash dot c. Going to put it in here. Yeah, instead of here, I'm going to do sources. Sources equals source. And we will need a dependency. So I'm going to create G object dependency equal dependency. So here we need dependency G object. So in here I'm going to dependencies object that first we have to run mission and build build is the folder that we're going to create so look here we don't have build under student but after we running this command it will create mission will create build folder okay so we have build in here so going to clear the screen and then after that we just going to that build folder and clear the screen again and all we need to do after this we just call ninja when we want to build let's see ninja okay we got fail student it doesn't have main function let me create okay I'm not I want to create it in here so build we don't want to see that I want to create it in student Let's create another main dot C. So, so I'm going to say just do in main. Just return zero for now. So let me save. So here we just run ninja again. Oh, I need to add this to. We need to add this source to main main dot C. Put it in single quotation mark let me add another line so it's look prettier okay so try it again ninja we can see that everything look good if I do clear screen alas we can see that we have student here if you run student from here, it will nothing happen because nothing in main. Let's add something in main so we know that it is good. Let me include IO standard input output dot h and I just want to print something out. Print hello world no hello YouTube. Let's do hello YouTube now. Okay, so in order to build, as I said, we just need to run ninja. Ninja again. Okay, but please clear the screen and I'm gonna run student. Yay, we got hello YouTube. So it's fine now, it means we get this to work. So Next, we're going to create a struct. Example student. This is the struct for our object. So it's gonna inherit it from G object. Let's call it parents. Parent. Okay, and that's it for now this one and I'm going to define we can use G define 
tab. So we use G define tab macros. In here should be camo case. So we're gonna use example student. And here we're gonna use example underscore student and the parent tab. So it should be G tab object. Okay, everything look good. Let me compile it again. We just go step by step building building up from here so you can learn and see how it works. When we get the error, we're going to fix it. Okay, let me go up here a little bit and clear the screen and going to run ninja. That's all we need to do. Okay, we got fail again. So let's see what is the error. So it said it's here it's a warning. It means example student in it use but never defined. So we need to define that that function first. So I'm going to define that function the static void. It is function name example student init and it take an object tab self so we're going to put here example student pointer to self and save it let's compile it again to see if it's still there so let me clear and do ninja. I love ninja. It's easy when we do this. So it look like that function it's we have another complaint but this complaint is about this self. It's created but never used but it's okay for now because we're not going to use it and here is another warning that we need to create this function so I'm going to create static void example student class in it and it take example student class so here I just follow the the complaint and try to fix it by here tab and it take this argument so when I put it here hopefully that complaint gone so let me clear the screen and do ninja again see now we we got so got rid of those complaints but we still have two complaints about unused parameter self and class but it's okay for now